Good morning. It is August the 25th, 2021. And we welcome you to Jake's Bounty. Hey, I'm here in the uh, room. That's right. Let's go ahead and get things started. Well, thank you very much for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I am your host, Jake Hernandez. That's right. It is a Wednesday, a what the fuck Wednesday, uh, August 25th, 2021. So we'll be telling something about maybe Hollywood, maybe locally. Something bizarre and crazy, though. You can guarantee that. I want to go and thank the music today. I was provided by... Let me go ahead and get the album. Stay right there. Buffalo Springfield, the best of Buffalo Springfield, retrospective, and that song you hear right there was Broken Arrow, all right, and uh, written by Neil Young, okay, so we'll hear more of that from them later on as well, go ahead, and also thank you to the uh, sponsors, Joseph S. Stein, got these shorts and t-shirt from him, looking good, I might say, $9.99, make it look fine, all right. Go to Joseph S. Stein right now. Also, I want to let you know, we still got these classic CVC heart tumblers right here. You can go get them at Jake's Bounty. CVC, I imagine that stands for cock, vagina cock. Anyway, go get it at Jake's Bounty. Tumblers, 20 bucks. You know how cheap, how fucking expensive they are everywhere else. They're expensive here too, God. Alright, let's go ahead and get to the news. Fresno County DA investigator was killed in a car crash. 49-year-old Michael Rossi uh, crashed into a fence uh, line at Thomas Elementary School in Northeast Fresno. He was a 22-year-old veteran. He started in 1999 and retired in 2015, then joined the Fresno County District Office in 2020. Uh, the cause of the crash is still under investigation, and he leaves behind a wife and three children, very sadly. A uh, security guard shot and killed at Motel 6 in Fresno. Central Fresno's have been found guard on second floor with gunshot wound in his chest. This happened at 10.30 p.m. at Motel 6 on Blackstone and Griffith Way. Good place to get uh, meth, by the way. Multiple people involved don't know who exactly the shooter was, don't know what up to the shooting, but when we do have the information, we will let you know. And if you happen to have information, let the police know as well. Uh, Consulate of Mexico employees caused charging, uh, they charge for appointments, yeah. So they've uh, been fired for wrongfully charging people for highly sought out after appointments at the Fresno office. Uh, the scheme involved two workers and one security guard. This has become a trend apparently across the United States, um, happening in other offices. Changes have been done to the Mexican consulate, only one, only 51 Consulate Mex uh, Mexico offices in U.S. and they're having about twenty-five thousand calls a day. All right, appointments are free. Just by the way, <laughs> okay. Central Unified Superintendent resigns following arrest. Andrew Alvarado arrested in domestic charges back in May. Uh, they were dropped. Uh, he's still facing misdemeanor charges for uh, alleged contracting violations. Uh, he resigned after the board. And many parents were like, hey, get this guy to the office and stuff. And um, he actually resigned yesterday at the board meeting. And since June, Kenny Davis uh, has been acting superintendent. Don't know if she will uh, take over permanently. We'll keep you guys informed. Uh, one arrested in connection with deadly Fresno shooting. A uh, man was shot. And a woman was shot out also at a birthday party in southeast Fresno back in January. Matthew Pless was arrested Thursday on unrelated charges. He is responsible for shooting and killing 31-year-old Felicia uh, Becker and 29-year-old Acha Churanami. I hope I'm saying this right. C-H-O-U-R-U-N-R-A-M-A-N-Y. Whoo, it's a mouthful. He actually uh, survived. A third victim was recovered from injuries, no motive, and no one has been charged with the murder. Uh, actually, he has been charged with murder because they caught him. Duh. He's been charged with murder and attempted murder, okay? 
All right, well, let's go ahead and now go to some trivia. Yeah, that's right. We do this every day, and we're going to get to some trivia right now. Which season is it? What's the name of the episode? And what happened to Monica in this scene? And this isn't one of the seasons I like, so that should be a little clue for you. All right, what season and what's the episode? And why is she hanging by that shower uh, rail? This is season 10, and this is the one where after Joey and Rachel kissed, and she has got her cornrows in the shower rail. That was pretty funny, though. I'll give you that. All right, she wanted to... She said, look, Chandler, I can sound like this. And then the, the, the cornrows are making sound because they had shells in it. And, and then later on, when she undid the shells, she looked like buckwheat. So there's a few times that season 10 was actually okay. Let's now go ahead and get into uh, What the Fuck Story. This is What the Fuck Story Wednesday. Jonathan Kendrick Lewis, uh, actor known from mostly Sons of Anarchy. Uh, he was arrested in 2011 for th three times, as well as in 2012. In 2012, he struck two men and hit with a bottle and pleaded no contest of assault with a deadly weapon. Six weeks later, he was accused of attempting to break into a woman's house. Uh, he also pleaded no contest. And at this point, uh, his drug use and also his mental health was also taken a look into. Um, he had suffered head injuries on October 30th, 2011 from a motorcycle accident in August 2012. Lewis was well enough, to, uh, supposedly, to be getting back in his own place and uh, taking care of, you know, getting back into acting after the accident. So uh, there was even MRIs that were scheduled that he said, nope, I don't need to take these. And he went about uh, his regular life, um, unfortunately. Uh, he ended up renting a um, a room in this uh, writer's house that's been around for ever, and he's actually he stayed there back in 2009, and once was staying there again in 2012 uh, with 81 um, year old landlady Catherine Davis. Okay, and uh, August 12th he was um, well enough to go back on his feet, like I said. But then on September 26, 2012, Lewis, an 81-year-old landlady, Catherine Davis, was found dead at Davis's home. Lewis attacked two people next door. Uh, first, he introduced himself, and then he attacked them uh, very shortly afterwards. And um, when LAPD came, they found his body uh, in the driveway of the home. Davis's dead uh, body was found inside and was found with severe head injuries. And was killed by Davis. Uh, excuse me, not Davis. Um, Lewis had killed Davis by manual strangulation and blunt tra trauma to the head. Um, they, don't, uh, they don't believe that alcohol or drugs played a part in it. Because uh, they did a whole autopsy on him. And there was no drugs or alcohol found. Everything was negative. So they don't know. I think it was just a part of his... Uh, mental uh, problems that he suffered from. So that is the What the Fuck story. You can get more on it. Um, I think there's an E! True Hollywood story of um, haunted houses or haunted stories or Hollywood stories, and that was one of them a few years back. Um, I believe they have a bunch of it on the Internet uh, as, far as, as far as YouTube and other places. You can go ahead and check out the story. And uh, you can just basically type in Jonathan Kendrick Lewis and a uh, whole bunch of stuff will pop up. And you can just go check it out there and do some research, all right? That's our What the Fuck story today. Now I want to go ahead and look at my cans. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. So today I have the cans out on the front porch. Just to make it a little easier on me and we'll go out and see them and say hello yeah you don't say hello to your cans i do all right so got some gloves here no ants today that's good got some bush beer uh, purified water sprite kirkland water 
Modelo. See that? Some truly Arizona. Just a mix match of stuff. And let's go into the studio and say goodbye. Alright. Also want to let you know we still have Groundhog Day at Ray's video. So you can get that for one dollar and seven day uh, rental. So get Groundhog Day, alright? Live every day over and over and over again. Even though you already do, it's just not the same date. Alright, well that's gonna do it for us today. I wanna go ahead and thank the sponsors. We've got Friends, go and pick up their picture quiz at Grocery Outlet or at Jake's Bounty. It's just a little more expensive at Jake's Bounty because I've got to make a profit. Also, uh, I'd like to thank Joseph S. Stein for making me look so, so fine. He's got these Nautica sandals as well. That's right. They're only $9.99. Go ahead and go to a store, his internet or physical store, all right? And right now, let's have some more Buffalo Springfield with Broken Arrow as we go out. All right, and remember, I want you guys to have a good day, be good to yourselves, and be good to each other. I'll see you tomorrow with more of the bounty, the news, uh, throwback Thursday, and so much more. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Jake's Bounty was filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records Production 2021. You can follow his Facebook, his channel, his website is... Uh, page, you can do all that, ring that bell, leave a like, and as always, please subscribe.